The truth about filming these videos is the first like two minutes is just me trying to catch my breath. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jesse. if you are new here. I am currently 37 weeks, two days pregnant, three weeks, 37, three, something. Today I wanted to do a video showing you guys what I have in my hospital bags. You're also gonna see golden retriever butts and tails in here because if I am in the baby room, these dogs are in here too. They are excited for whatever is happening in here. I have a whole bunch of stuff to show you. I don't wanna take too long but at the same time i know that some of these can be really helpful and i've watched tons of these videos i also have like a list on my phone of all the stuff that we need because not everything could i pack immediately i can copy and paste this stuff into the description box in case you're interested or you don't want to watch the whole video so that you can see like the things i brought i'm going to preface this and say i am a first time mom I am also naturally a type A, very organized person. I also have anxiety, so I think that I may have overpacked, quite honestly, and I'm totally fine with that. I would rather overpack than underpack. Some of this stuff we won't even necessarily bring into the hospital unless we need it, but I'm one of those people that like it would make me more anxious not to have it versus just having it and like who cares you know I think some people get worried about like people thinking that they're being too much especially as a first-time mom and I'm kind of just like oh maybe I am too much <laughs> like that's just who, who I am so what I'm going to show you guys there's quite a bit of stuff but I also don't feel like it's overkill but if there's anything I'm missing definitely let me know down below I know that the hospital gives you a lot of free stuff but I I have very sensitive skin so there's some stuff that I brought just in case the stuff at the hospital isn't working for me but I will show you what I'm bringing what my husband Ben is bringing and I might not show you everything that he's bringing because it's easier to just tell you what it is versus showing you and then what I have for baby in my cute little diaper bag so Without further ado, let's jump in to what's in my hospital bag. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start out with the bag that has like the least amount of stuff in it because I think it's the most non-essential necessarily, but essential for us. So I just have like this old backpack and the reason that we're using this one is just because it's like really comfortable to carry and it has a laptop case. I am gonna bring my laptop and charger my camera camera battery tripod sd card with me one thing just in case like i'm induced currently i'm not intending to be induced but who knows what happens or i get the epidural and i just like have some time i don't want to be on my phone all the time i don't know about you guys but i get like terrible tension headaches if i'm like looking down like this all the time so i wanted to bring my computer so that i could watch Netflix I could watch YouTube videos anything like that that would like give me some comfort if I'm feeling overwhelmed I think other like electronical electronical <laughs> Electronic type things will go in here too. So things like Ben's headphones We're gonna bring some little lights that um, you can tap and the color changes We're bringing a sound machine, but that's actually in the baby bag, but the biggest thing in this bag is snacks <laughs> So if you don't know me in real life, or actually I should say if you don't know my husband in real life, he is like a snack monster and if he's very particular about when he eats and what he eats, which is fine. We both have health issues so it is really important to both of us. So having snacks with us that he knows that he can eat is really helpful for his anxiety, him being my husband if I didn't say that. So we bought a bunch of snacks from Target and from Thrive Market that are like dairy-free, gluten-free, things that him and I can eat, but particularly for Ben to eat. At my hospital, we're required to stay two nights if it is a regular like vaginal delivery and there's no complications, and I believe it's three to four nights with a C-section. Currently not intending to have a C-section, but again, who knows, right? So we just have like a bunch of snacks in here. Most of them are, there's like crispy squares, there's like some chocolate chip cookie dough bars for Ben. These look really good. Himalayan sea salt dark chocolate almonds. There's some like protein bars in here that I like, things like that. So it's mostly snacks right now and then the electronics will go in here as well. There's also like, I know in labor, they don't really let you eat a ton. Or at all in some cases and 
I don't know like if we if I give birth at like 2 in the morning and I'm starving like I want to have some food there's not a ton of restaurants around the hospital where we're staying that I like we are planning to like eat whatever the hospital gives me as well but just having some snacks I think was really important for you choose what snacks are important to you and your partner or whoever's gonna be there with you and just have like some we have a lot <laughs> but that's just because we're kind of excessive about food which if you've ever watched any of my vlogs my grocery hauls you guys know that we're a little we're a little bougie when it comes to food the next few things that I'm gonna bring I'm just gonna tell you because I'm I don't have them currently we are planning to bring our own pillows and then I also have my own blanket I haven't even taken it out of the thing from Costco yet this will stay in baby's room in general it's one of those like really soft blankets similar to like a barefoot dreams but it was like $20 at Costco and I'm gonna just bring this with me and our pillows and they're just gonna be in the car and whenever we get moved to the postpartum room Ben can go and get them I don't want these in the delivery room I don't want them to get dirty well who knows if I'm in the delivery room for like a hundred million years then maybe I'll change my mind but he can also just like run down and get them our hospital is fairly small that we're going to so I'm not too worried about it we're also in like a good area so you don't have to worry about like things getting broken into so we're gonna have a blanket both of our pillows I'm also gonna bring the boppy pillow and leave that in the car I've heard mixed reviews on whether you should bring that or not to the hospital I've obviously never breastfed before it's something I'm a little bit anxious about I would rather have it with me Ben or my doula can run downstairs and grab it if I think it's gonna help and if not, we'll leave it in the car. We have a big SUV on purpose. <laughs> Those are a couple of things I have on my list of like things for Ben to grab last minute. And then also just like our winter coats in general. I don't know, winter in Raleigh is weird. Like today it's cold, but maybe it won't be cold <laughs> the day that we go, I have no idea. So those are the things that I have just kind of going in the car. And then the snack of slash electronics bag my rolling suitcase which is for ben and me and then my diaper bag will all go with us most likely right away let's get into this big well it's not big it's like a what are those called like the carry-on size currently i think we can fit everything in here because ben's side is pretty relaxed but we'll see <laughs> because it's pretty full right now but most of it's like soft clothing so I feel like it'll kind of go down I'll just read you what we're having Ben bring instead of pulling out all of his clothes he's gonna bring some pants probably like his own pants that he's wearing and another set of like sweatpants shirts sweatshirt boxers socks his face mask to wear when he wants to sleep his wallet and his headphones so seriously super minimal he doesn't need as much stuff he's also not as sensitive as me <laughs> whereas like I'm really sensitive to texture and sound and light and stuff like that especially if I'm overwhelmed let's get going with what I'm going to use in my bag starting off we'll start with like clothes and stuff I have this um, blue robe from Target that I actually wore it's from that stars and above line it's just like blue it's not super thick I have been really hot in the end of this pregnancy so I'm guessing I'll be warm at the hospital but I also did bring like warm socks and I have that warm blanket and I do have some warm clothing with me so if this isn't warm enough it's fine but it's really silky soft and the texture is really nice so I brought that to wear after delivery I brought just like a it's another Target shirt most of the stuff's from Target <laughs> it's just like an oversized shirt it's not breastfeeding compatible necessarily but I also was like I just want to have like a shirt you know in case I want to like wear that home we only live 10 minutes from home so I'm not really worried about like what I look like or anything like that the other thing that I wanted to bring was a couple of like cardigans that are open or zip up hoodies because my assumption is that I'm pretty much going to be in like a bra and that or like a nursing tank so I got this super soft cardigan like the it's similar again to that blanket I really love this texture again I'm a texture girly so I got this from that stars above line again at Target if I don't wear it at the hospital that's fine but I'll wear it at home. I know it's white, but it was the only color they had. 
so if it gets ruined it gets ruined this is also from target but from the men's section it's just like a gray zip up hoodie but it's like super soft on the inside and a little bit oversized i got a large so i can just wear that again with like I'm wearing a nursing bra, like a nursing bra underneath it. I have some dark sweatpants, again, <laughs> from Target, that I can wear at the hospital or from home. Actually, literally all the clothes in here are from Target. I got a nursing tank as well. Again, if I don't wear these at the hospital, I can wear them at home. Again, my thing with like texture and stuff, or like, I'm just really, like if, if my shirts get really wet from like the baby or from breastfeeding or whatever, I just want something that I can change in because if I have to sit in like a wet top, <laughs> I will not be a happy person. All this stuff again is for postpartum. I'll wear whatever they give me <laughs> and the the labor and delivery, I do not care. Like I, I just, their stuff can get ruined, not mine. Yeah, and then I got this little like pajama set, but it's this really soft, that stars and above material again, super soft. And I just got it in black. It is shorts and short sleeve but again i am assuming that i can put like a cardigan over that or my robe or my blanket and i'll be fine again i just like naturally run a little bit warm and then if you add on the fact that like a lot of people talk about like hormones afterwards you usually are pretty warm but i also know hospitals can be cold so that's why i just want to have a lot of layering pieces the other thing I'm planning on grabbing, which isn't in here, is two nursing bras, a pair of maternity leggings in case I want something a little bit tighter. I've heard some moms say that they like tight clothes after birth and some moms like loose clothing. So I have the loose sweatpants, but I only have like two or three pairs of maternity leggings and a couple of nursing bras. So I need them to wear right now. I want to bring one of my mama sweatshirts, probably my like pink one because I've stained this one, just to like wear home or if we're doing like any pictures or something like that. I really love these sweatshirts. And again, very soft. These are from Shop Brooklyn Grace. So I'll try to remember to link the shop that I get them from down below. My doula told me to just bring a couple of adult diapers. They do give you some in the hospital, but she said that some people just like don't like them. I also brought postpartum size underwear and some of these cooling maxi pads for the same reason. If I'm not feeling the diapers in any way, I can wear those. My doula also told me to bring my own peri bottle. They do give you these in the hospital, but she said these ones are so much better with the little thing. I already have one of these in my diaper or in my postpartum kit, but she told me to bring another one with me. A little sleep mask. There's lights and stuff. If I'm feeling overwhelmed, I can put this over my eyes. I have some reusable breast pads in here. If I do breastfeed and everything goes well and I just need those. I have like two pairs of regular socks. And then I have these like huge warm socks. Again, telling you that like I tend to be warm, so I don't, I don't, these might be too warm, but they have some like grippies on the bottom. I actually got these at Sprouts, like the grocery store, <laughs> but they're that su super soft material. So I'm gonna bring these two, even though they're like gigantic. I also have <laughs> these things that the, the dentist give you are great because now both Ben and I have toothbrush, toothpaste, and floss to bring with us. I also have some black slippers. I need to take this off from Target. Basically my whole life is from Target at this point <laughs> or Amazon. They're a little bit big actually, but they're black. They were $10. Your feet can go through them. If my feet are hot again in the slippers, or I just want to wear, or in the socks I mean, and I would rather wear slippers, then I can do that instead. And if these get like gross, they were $10 and I'm okay with throwing that out. And then I have like this little bag of toiletries. So I don't know that I'm going to go through everything that's in here. It's really small and jam packed. I'm not like a huge makeup girl, but I wanted to bring it with. I've had people tell me like, you won't want to wear makeup. And then I've had people tell me, that wearing a little bit of makeup makes you feel good. So this is another one of those things that I'm bringing that I might not use, but I'm not that worried about it because it's not a lot of stuff. I have, you know, mascara, deodorant in here. I have face oil and like face cleanser. I have blush and my face makeup. I have like a new Real Technique sponge in here just so it doesn't get dirty. I have a lip sleeping mask, bronzer, and a little brush, some shape tape. And then I have my like night 
skincare. So I just have all those little things in here and I'm using this currently in my bathroom. So like when I go into labor and we need to leave, I can just grab that and we can go. So that is what I have in there. The last other things that I'm probably gonna grab are for myself, are AirPods and my insurance card and ID, which will basically be in my like crossbody purse that I wear downstairs, my thyroid medication, my prenatal and my probiotic I wanna bring with just in case, probiotic in case I get any antibiotics to make sure that my stomach's okay, prenatal, because I'm pretty sure you have to continue your prenatal a little bit after birth, and thyroid medications, I have Hashimoto's so I can't go without taking my thyroid medication. I also think I'm gonna grab my brush and maybe like a straightener or something. Again, if I shower there and I want to straighten my hair, I want the option. Another thing that's probably not necessary, I'm not planning to be like glammed up <laughs> by any means, but sometimes it just makes you feel a little bit better. So we'll see. I don't even know if I'm gonna like do like a full body shower there. I'm gonna bring this stuff with, unless it doesn't fit. If it doesn't fit, then I won't. Contacts, solution, case and glasses I'll need to bring. And I might go and buy like some little reusable bottles that I can put some sh shampoo and conditioner in. So I'll probably make another little small bag like this. Oh, one of the other things I was thinking of bringing is body armor, like the drink, but I'm not really sure if I'll grab that or not. So let's move on to baby bag and then this long video can be done. <laughs> okay, so the baby bag I have is this one. It's from Luli Baby. I don't know how to say that but I love this. I'm glad that I got it. Stuff that I have in here is for baby or for like me. I have a couple of like I have a scrunchie and a and a hair tie. I have some baby gloves in case baby is scratching itself. I have these like reusable breast or non-reusable breast pads just in case I'd rather use those. And then I have some nipple butter. Oh there's one more thing actually. This cute thing my friend just made for me says hello world and it's got a harry potter wand and like a little letter which i think is so cute so i'm gonna bring this with as well if you didn't know we don't know if baby is a girl or boy we're waiting to find out i just think that'll be fun for whenever we announce that so then everything in here to go for baby there's like a little changing pad that comes with the bag that's in here so i just left it in here. I have a couple of wipes. I know they give you wipes in the hospital, but again, if I have sensitive skin, hopefully baby has, doesn't have sensitive skin the way that I do, but I just wanted to bring it in case. If not, they'll just stay in the diaper bag. I have these doula cards that my sister bought me that maybe we'll use in birth with my doula. Maybe not. I have a little pacifier. We're actually meeting a lactation consultant this weekend so we probably won't use that in the hospital but I'm just bringing that with me the next thing is a sound machine that Ben bought a while ago so it's just got like white noise rain thunder ocean things like that for baby but also for me so if we're trying to sleep and all you can hear is like hospital noises I wanted to have something for myself that would kind of calm me down because baby will be overstimulated but so will Mama. <laughs> Are you helping me with your good boy? Okay, well I had to take a brief intermission. So if you're not straight or in a different position, it is because my battery died. So now I'm out of breath again because I had to do that whole thing. But anyway, the next thing that's in this bag is one of these like stroller fans. Again, I've seen this on tons of other moms videos that this is great to just like have on the hospital bed that's blowing at you, especially if you're someone like me that gets overheated pretty easily. Now let's move on to like actually baby stuff. I feel like I might have brought maybe too much baby stuff <laughs> now that I'm like looking at it. So let's pull this all out and then I'll show you guys. The first thing I brought is this swaddle. It's a Harry Potter swaddle. I know that they give you a swaddle type thing at the hospital, but I thought for like pictures and stuff because if you've seen our nursery or anything about this birth, it is Harry Potter themed. I thought that it would be just like a cute thing for pictures. I did also bring this, it says to be sorted December, 2022. This is how we announced the pregnancy. So if baby like fits in this, I thought we could take a picture in it, which is why I have it with. I also brought like a long sleeve onesie as well. Again, I don't really know if I need these. I brought it anyway. And then 
I have a second Harry Potter like little onesie. It says I speak fluent Mandrake. So those are more, though, especially the Harry Potter ones are more for like if I want to take any Harry Potter photos. The next thing I have is this. So currently I'm measuring big for baby. So I wanted to bring something that was zero to three months. It's just like a little sleeper that I got in case baby's too big for newborn clothing. So that's one thing I have there and it comes with like this little matching hat, which is cute. Last thing I have is a newborn sleeper. So same thing, just because it's gonna be cold and I don't like, I'm not worried about them in the hospital, but even just coming home from the hospital, having like something that's long sleeved versus the short sleeved little onesies that I showed you. So this is just a newborn size and then I have a zero to three month size. I brought one pair of like little socks, even though the, the sleepers both come with like little sock pieces, but just in case. Our coming home outfit is super cute. Again, we don't know the sex of the baby, but Ben and I are really obsessed with this like deep olive color. Hopefully that's showing off there. I believe this is from Caden Lane. Yes. It is like a gown that you tie up in a little bow on the bottom. So it comes like this and then there's a little hat that goes with it. It's really cute. But we did also buy the matching bow. So because we don't know if it's a girl or a boy, honestly, I I mean, I think that the hat, like any, any baby can wear a hat. The only reason I, we wanted a bow was because this is such a dark color. I don't know. I was just like, maybe if we had a bow with it, if it is a girl, I don't know. I This is like my hard, my hard part. I don't like believe in gender specific colors. Like I think boys can like pink. I think girls can like blue. So I don't like that. And I'm actually kind of glad that people didn't know the sex of the baby because then they couldn't get me like a bunch of like pink frilly stuff because that's just not my style. I still want people to know. Like if I'm like, it's, you know, a girl and they all think it's a boy because it's in green, just because that's just like societally what people think through. That's not what this we don't need to have a whole conversation about that. So I have a little hat and then I have a little bow. So I'm thinking this is what it's like coming home outfit will be in or pictures if we want to take pictures while we're there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's everything that I have. It Now that I went through it, I'm like, that's pretty much it. That's quite a bit of stuff. I'm happy with my decision for the most part. I think I might have like overpacked some baby clothes, but I'm also like, who cares? The baby clothes take up like literally six inches of space, so I'm not really worried about that too much. I know it's gonna be very overwhelming to have a baby, not only for my own senses, but for the baby, for my husband, and having stuff with me that makes me feel good, whether it's soft blankets and soft cardigans or my own peri bottle or you know my own underwear that fit me better than the ones in the hospital to me it's worth the overpacking if they think that i'm ridiculous and talk about me at the nurse's station that's their problem it's not my problem so i feel like this is what i'm bringing it doesn't feel excessive to me but it also doesn't feel minimalistic by any means but i hope that this helped you maybe jog some ideas if there were things that you weren't sure if you wanted to bring i hope if you're like me and you are thinking about bringing something but you're afraid that like the nurse or your doula or the doctor is gonna judge you who cares it's your birth if you want to bring all of your stuff with you do so you know i'm gonna be there for at least two days so i just want to be comfortable and feel as good as i can in my new life that will be starting that day if i can make it any less overwhelming why wouldn't I do that? So I hope that this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching it. I appreciate you. And yeah, let me know if there's anything that you would like to see from me in these next few weeks because I have no idea when baby's coming. At this point, I have no induction date. Baby's coming when it wants to come. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.